Hi, I'm Noel. You're going to love this Just For Kids video. If you're having a little trouble with the picture on the TV now, maybe you just need to adjust the tracking on your VCR. That's the little switcher button just at the bottom of your tape player. If you need help, just call mom or dad or big brother or big sister. They'll help you. And be sure you stay tuned after the show because I'm going to tell you how you can get a free video. See you soon and enjoy the show. that Rocky Catalina, the world's greatest stuntman, was going to be our guest on Maxi's World. What? No more of my magnificent moments? They're just changing reels, Rocky. Look, Rock, I've been keeping a scrapbook on you for years. You want to read it? Uh, reading is for sissies, kid. Who has time to read? Well, I... Not me. That's why I dropped out of school when I was a kid. Life is for living, not keeping your nose in a book. Uh, whatever you say, Rock. Okay, roll the next clip. Gorilla, my dreams is rad. Oh! 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 Rocky was Rob's all-time fave. Rob wished he could do those daring stunts. Stop meeting like this. I was great in that jungle gem, wasn't I? So was I. Showdown at the Oinkoin Corral. You were excellent in this rock. My favorite, the Masked Avenger and Yankee Doodle Poodle. What is it, Yankee Doodle Poodle? The bad guys are escaping with the money from the orphanage. Let's go! Oh, glory be. 
be. We've got to stop meeting like this. <sighs> oh, way to go, Rock. I'm just happy I can give so much pleasure to so many people. Okay, Rocky. Here's a list of all the locations we're going to use in the stunts for our TV show. Want to check them out? List me no lists. I'll check out everything in person. Give the little people a chance to see me in action. And he's so, so down to earth. This hill looks mighty steep. Ah, uh, Rocky will take care of everything. He's the best. You said it, kid. Somebody forgot to take the lens cap off the camera. Oops. Well, we'll just have to do it again. Oh, no. I mean, well, could you do without me? Maxie, where's your sense of adventure? I think I left it up the hill with my stomach. Rocky is cool, isn't he? He is. It's hard to believe he didn't finish high school. I'm glad you brought that up, Max. I'm gonna quit school, too. What? I'm going to announce my decision on the show tonight. As Rocky said, life is for living. Rob, please think about this. My thinking days are over, Maxie. It sure looks that way. Rob was going to announce that he's quitting school, right on Maxie's world. I didn't want him blabbing his terrible news to the whole world before he thought it over. Hi, everybody. We're here today with the world-famous stuntman, Rocky Catalina, who's going to ride, ride, ride the wild surf. Remember, kids, don't try this at home. Rocky sure is fearless. For sure. As a matter of fact, I'm planning on following in his footsteps. Uh, speaking of footsteps, look at that footwork. Oh, Daisy, dude. He can handle it. Well, I guess you have to be the world's greatest stuntman to attempt anything so, so, so stupid. Rob, Rocky doesn't see the truck. Do something. You're crowding me! Rocky! Rocky! What's the matter, kid? Salt water got your tongue? A shark? Hey, why didn't you say so? I died! Whoa!
What an adventure. I was scared stiff. It was all planned, wasn't it, Rock? You just pretended you didn't see the sign. Sure, sure. Wait, you're a good kid, kid. I think you deserve the truth. Rocky? The truth is, it wasn't that I didn't see the sign. I just ignored it. Because you're fearless. No, because I can't read. Wow, you can't read? See what can happen if you can't read? If I had my life to do over again, I never would have quit school. Dropping out was the worst decision I ever made. Gee, Rock. Uh, Rob, do you still have an announcement to make? I sure do. I'm going to teach Rocky how to read. And I'll teach you karate. I'll teach you algebra. I'll teach you parachuting. I'll teach you French. Rob, you don't know French. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll teach you woodshop. And I'll teach you shopping. Well, that winds up another Maxie's world. And it looks like Rob and Rocky have their work cut out for them. Hey, Siege, I'm ready. Boy, Rock, for a beginner, you sure picked some heavy reading. Welcome to Maxie's World. As everyone at Surfside High knows, tomorrow is Junior Citizens Day. While city officials attend an out-of-town conference, we students will fill their offices for a day. The student mayor is supposed to be the one with the best grade, and we all know that's Simone. Maxie, you embarrass me. But Simone, who's studying to be a lawyer, would rather be a judge. So that means the office of mayor is still wide open. Maxie's being modest. Her grades are almost as good as Simone's. I bet she'll be mayor. Don't be so sure. There are other extremely smart girls in school. Really? Do you know any? Well, one stands out. Me! <laughs> Little did we know that Jerry was about to do some jerry-rigging to make herself mayor. Hmm. We'll see who has good grace. C minus, huh? Well, I just did a little extra credit work. And while we're at it, let's take Maxie down to the minimum. Huh? Error? Eh? Oh no! What did I do? The results were in. Simone became judge, Rob was treasurer, but to her surprise, Jerry was... Sanitation commissioner? You're the reporter. I'll leave the dirt digging to you. <laughs> but the worst bug in Jerry's program was the acting mayor. Ferdy! Fellow surf -sighters. I promise never to disgrace this high office. Now, as my first act, I propose we change this town's name to Ferdyville. Mayor Ferdy? What could possibly be worse than this? Police keep mushroom here. Oh, boy. Come on, Mr. Mayor. Let's try out the siren on my squad car. I wish I knew why I didn't get a job. Ah, uh, that computer must be haywire. Why don't you go to the beach? No, the weather report said there's a storm headed this way. Carly! Isn't it super? I made fire teeth! Huh? What way you going, Mushroom? I just hope you can keep those two bozos from burning down the city. I called the city council meeting to order. Now, any objections to putting a statue of me in the park? As public health commissioner, I can't allow that. Why not? It would make everyone sick! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, is this a mutiny? Are you dudes trying to impair me? Huh? You mean trying to impeach you. I knew it was some kind of fruit. Look. Ouch! Calm down, Mr. Mayor. Nobody wants you out of office. Speak for yourself. But we've got more important things to discuss. 
Nothing's more important than the dignity of my office. It's time you femmes treated me with respect. From now on, I declare it's illegal for any girl to turn down the mayor for a date. Goodbye, Ferdy. Wait, where are you going? You are nuts. That law hasn't got a snowball's chance in Surfside. Look up there! It's snowing! In Surfside? And a freak arctic storm is bringing snow to Surfside for the first time since 1890. The snow has stopped traffic on busy coast highways, stranding residents and tourists alike. Since the jam stretches for miles and the phone lines are down, Surfside officials have no way to reach their student substitutes. So far, no word from acting Mayor Ferdy about how he intends to deal with this crisis. Dude, I have come to a supreme decision. We'll go ice skating tonight, Gary. What? Me date you? You always said you would when Surfside froze over. That was a figure of speech, you dweeb. Surfside is not equipped for snow. I better see if I can help out down at the highway. I absolutely refuse to date you. In that case, you have violated my anti-rejection ordinance. Keep mushroom. Do your duty. Huh? Sorry, Jerry. You've got the right to remain silent. You can't do this to me, you big bozo. I have friends in high places. And let me tell you, when they hear... She's got the right to remain silent, but she'll never use it. Hey, where's Mushroom taking Jerry? Better you should ask. Where am I taking you on a date tonight? Date? Either a hot date with me, or I put you girls on ice. <coughs> we'll, we'll take, take the ice. ice. Next case, the people versus Jerry, Ashley, and Carly. Simone, I busted the girls because... Chief Mushroom, you're supposed to call me your honor. Oh, right. My honor? These girls turned down the mayor for a date. Ferdy is on a power trip. He can't make up a law all by himself. Can he? <clears throat> I'm afraid he can. There's a 99-year-old law that gives the mayor special powers in an emergency. This way to the slammer, ladies. Not so fast, Chief. As judge, I can suspend the jail term in exchange for 10 hours of community service. Court adjourned. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. you. Don't thank me yet, you guys. Thank you so much, Simone. Well, this is a service the community needs. Ugh, I wonder if it's too late to go ice skating with Ferdy. Hey, you missed a spot over... Wah! We're here at Surfside Pier to hear Mayor Ferdy's plans to cope with this emergency. I want to empathize. This situation is totally urgent. The snow could stop at any time, so we got to have fun now. But, Mr. Mayor, what about all the people? Who want to go sledding? Good point. That's why I converted this pier into a toboggan run. But why? Stay away! Huh? Oh, st oh no! Oh no! Stay away from Frank Garnett! Ferdy, this isn't fun and games anymore. There are tourists out there who need your help. Oh, okay. I'll put one of my people on it. You arrested all your people. Now it's up to you. <gasps> hey, baby. It's just a little snow. Who's it gonna hurt? Rob! They came here for a day at the beach, and now they're stuck. They need warm clothes, food, and shelter. But that's a hot prop, dude. It'll be an excellent challenge for the new mayor. Ferdy made the smartest decision of his administration. He quit. I was appointed mayor, and Rob replaced Mushroom as police chief. I got the principal to let stranded tourists stay in the auditorium. The judge impounded all beach towels to keep people warm. Let's face it, we don't have a lot of blankets in Surfside. Our public health commissioner used her uh, persuasive powers to get them some hot food. 
And our police and fire chiefs figured out how to clear the road when you don't have a snow plow. Okay, we're hooked up to the steam boiler and the power plant. All right, let her rip! Why do I have to hold the hose? Carly's the fire chief. Your sanitation commissioner. Street cleaning is your department. Uh-oh! Well, we survived the blizzard and Junior Citizens Day. Thanks to you, Miss Mayor. But who's going to clean up all this yucky mud? Sounds like a job for sanitation. I am not going near that mess. Thanks for the bodacious appointment as dog catcher, Maxie. The mushroom's going to be an excellent assistant dog catcher. Dog! In the name of the leaf law! Jerry, you should throw yourself into your work. <laughs> There were two scoops that day in Surfside. Jerry had a new firm by Monsieur Bruce. And a new guy, Yako Jetski, had just moved to Surfside from Lower Petslovia. <laughs> Check it out. This dude is the algebra whiz we had in class today. Total geekdom. Ouch! I am Yako, new student being in Surfside. Hi. Hi. Whoa. Wow. How's it going, Yako? Say hello to Maxie, Jerry, Ashley, and Simone. Hello. hello. Hello, Maxie. Hello, Jerry. Uh, uh, too many names. Welcome to Surfside. I'm Simone. Very happy to meet you, Simone, and moving into your home. <laughs> I think you mean hometown. I think mistake. Sorry. Excuse me. Careful. Careful. Oh. <laughs> Hey, watch what you're doing, my perm! Don't panic, Yucko! <laughs> I okay, I okay! What a geek! Hey, he was just being polite! Nobody talks like that. Maybe they do where people have manners. He's a weirdo. Oh, oh no! I fail math. I'm gonna have to go to summer school again. Hey, I think I just found a ticket to a mellow summit. Yo, Yako! You calling my name? Yeah, we want you to join us for lunch. As long as you don't eat anything gross. Yeah, you can even have half my peanut butter and be milk. You know, Yucca would make a great guest on Maxie's World. Excellent idea, Simone. We can do a special report on what's hot in Lower Petslovia. This is the first time I've done my algebra homework in years. It's the first time you've done any homework in years. Now you'll help me be a, how you say, excellent duet? No sweat. Guaranteed. Give me five. 
I have to pay, too. Just keep doing our homework. When we get finished with you, you're gonna be the coolest dude in Surfside. Let's see it, Yucko. Now that's a fashion statement. Really excellent. But my mother will not be letting me out like this. Okay. Tell her to get with the program. Look, Yucko, instead of following fashion, you'll be setting it. Really? Trust them. Try these. Perfect. And besides the right moves, most important, you gotta rhyme your rap. Rhyme rap? You explain? Yeah, you know. Every line has got to rhyme. <laughs> and you teach me how to be asking babes for a date? No prob. Just say, hey babe, I'm your dream dude. Let's catch a flick. Hey babes, wait up. <laughs> It's not Halloween in my calendar. Yucko, uh, I wanted to ask if you'd come on Maxie's World tomorrow for an exclusive interview. You mean me? On TV? We'll talk about life in Petslovia, like how kids dance, where they shop. I do it! Way to go, Yucko! Yeah, now you're in with the in-crowd, like us! Meanwhile, in a recording studio across town... Boring. Rubbish. More rubbish. I need something new. Different. It's showtime. And our special guest interviews with a new resident of Surfside. Please give him a great welcome. My name is Yako. I'm new in town. When I be swimming, I never drown. Is this dude awesome or what? Is what you're wearing the latest fashion in the Petslovian Republic? Hey, babe, you like these rags? They all have designer tags. Oh, no! What's he putting on this bizarro act for? I might go in a fashion store. Let's go shopping and we'll get some more. Excellent! I gotta sign this guy! To be on that show, I very thrilled. When I eat cheese, I like it grilled. Whoa! Thank you, Yakko. Uh, over to you, Rob. Rob? Yakko's interview was, what's the word? Try weird? Weird is a good word. Did you two have something to do with this? Hey, don't diss me. The dude wanted us to help him out with getting into the scene. Bernie taught him everything he knows. It's bad enough we've got two total geeks in Surfside. Don't go changing Yakko. Juggler has come in for some supper. <laughs> you all laugh at me. I leave. the kind of clothes that the other kids wear. You talk like this and you say the My firm! You had it coming, Jerry. Yucko, wait! Yako! Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to anybody.
Sure you do. We all want the same thing. Friends, acceptance. How can I find friends? You laugh at me. Go away. Hey, Yako, listen. I know why you did what you did. No, you don't. Yeah, come on! <laughs> See these folks from all over the world? Some of them have accents just like you. It means they can speak two languages. I envy you. You do? Sure, we all do. You've traveled, you're an excellent juggler, and most important, you're nice. But I want to fit in, have friends, dates. Then just be yourself. That's what's great about living in America. Just do your own thing. Yucko! Hey, Maxie. Hey, Carly. What you say if I say you, hey, babe, I'm your dream duet, that flick a catch. If that's how you ask someone out in Petslovian, we'd love to go. Yako, my main man! Where did you steal that limo? For your information, it belongs to Muff Whatnut. The big record producer. I saw your rhyme act, man, and I said this is the future of rock and roll. Juggle rock and rhyme is what's happening? My act? What act? He wants you to sign a record contract. And we're going to be your personal managers. Yucko, no! Hi, Yucko, where are you going? This is your big break. Going on the date, don't want to be late. What about the record deal? Hey, what about our homework? made Mushroom and Ferdy a little crazy, and Jerry has always made them insane. You boys are totally disgusting. Thank you. Hmm. Wow. It's the teen suffrage dance contest. The girls ask the boys. What a bodacious break. Here I am, Jerry. You might as well ask me now. Ask you? <laughs> no way. Hey, lots of femmes dig me. I'm prize date material. Yeah, the booby prize. I don't think she's gonna ask you to the dance, Ferdy. Of course she is, dude. She just doesn't know it yet. So how are you gonna get her to ask you? I'm gonna find out what other girls want in their dream duty. Then I follow their advice and bingo bongo. The baby's mine. Just sit back and watch. Okay. We can't let Jerry win the dance contest again. Excuse me. What are you doing? I'm conducting a little research. What constitutes your basic dream do? Ferdy, does this have anything to do with the dance contest? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. My dream guy. First of all, he's glamorous. Oh, and funny.
<laughs> Birdie! Birdie, snap out of it. It's my turn. Oh! Well, my dream date is a major athlete. Hit a home run for me, Birdie. Official makeover kit. It'll make a new man out of you. Hey, snap out of it. Go and get my kit. Jerry. 
Please, Bertie. I'm never going out again. Yes, you are. I am? Yes. So what if Jerry isn't going with you? Go anyway, and Bertie, just be yourself. We all love you just the way you are. Well, maybe. I had a feeling Jerry wouldn't win the dance contest this year, but I never guessed who would. Attention, it's time for the dance contest. The judges are ready, so start dancing! Hey, Bertie, since Rob's busy, will you be my partner? Oh, I'm not really a dancer, Max. Aren't you the one with the surf side shuffle? To the of a different drum. Dance your own special style. Be exactly who you want to be. The judges have narrowed the field to the last two couples. Let's see who wins. They won't take you will find your feet The winners are... I suppose I should congratulate you, but I would have won if my date hadn't choked. Well, Jerry, you obviously chose the wrong date. Huh. See, what I tell you? From now on, I'll just be myself. Come on, Maxie. Let's shuffle. All oh, right. If you'd like us to send you a free Just For Kids video, here's all you need to do. Collect six of our Just For Kids videos and send us the proof of purchase for each, along with this card to Just For Kids, P.O. Box 4112, Woodland Hills, California, 91367. That's all you have to do, and we'll send you a free Just For Kids video featuring some of our most popular characters. Be sure to look for these other Just For Kids videos in your store. See you next time. Grab your swimsuit, pack your sense of humor, and get ready for a return visit to the award-winning, wacky, wonderful world of Ovid and the Gang in Trouble in Paradise.
In this all-new adventure, we'll tune them in as they tune themselves in to more video-inspired madness than ever. You'll be absolutely dazzled by what this zany bunch gets into. <laughs> Look out! Quiet! You wanna make noise? No, make it on your side of the island! Otherwise, we'll call out the truth! Hello. Gotcha! Aim straight at your funny bone. Just one laugh is all you'll need to know why this award-winning, critically acclaimed series has got kids howling all over the world. So go on. It's the laugh vacation you've been waiting for. A two-hour side-splitting trip you won't want to miss. Ovid and the gang, trouble in paradise. There's no better pals to make you laugh and sing than those cleverest of critters, the Bluffers. That's right, it's your old friends with some new adventures. They're back with more music and fun full of magical mischief. Well done, well done. We've saved the forest. Recover that grubby greenery. Oh, brilliant, I am brilliant. That crazy clandestino's up to his evil tricks again with his wrong-way robot, Silly Coat. But Honey Boy, Regal Eagle, Zip, Ginseng, Duck, Zock, Prickly Pine, Vixen, and the rest of the Bluffers Bunch aren't gonna let clandestino ruin Bluffunia with his wicked ways. Join the Bluffers and all the fun in this ultimate Bluffers presentation with more adventures than ever before. 101 minutes of pure Bluffers fun. Meet the award-winning film star who's capturing the hearts of kids all over the world. He's the Little Fox, the enchanting creature whose cartoon movie is a smash in Europe and is working its magic on American shores. Based on a best-selling children's book, the Little Fox is sure to be a treasured children's classic for years to come. It's the tale of Vic, the roly-poly cub, orphaned, then raised by a wise and kind uncle. Kids will be delighted watching Vic as he learns the ways of the forest, grows strong and smart, and falls in love with a foxy young friend. The personality of each creature of the woods comes alive in this top quality feature the entire family will adore. It's a wondrous tale kids will love watching again and again. The Little Fox. Two full hours of brand new Fufa in He Ain't Nothing but a hound dog. In this great new release, you're in for one big surprise after another. And we mean big. The big top, the big apple, the big leagues, and Big Ben. You, you sure about this, Foof? I don't think this lad is long enough, Big. <laughs> Just a little closer there, Fetcher. Whoa! It's guaranteed big-time entertainment, something you're sure to fall for. And when you do, which we know you will, don't worry, you're going to have a ball. It's the all-new Foofer in He Ain't Nothing But a Hound Dog. And then... <gasps> it's time once again to give a call to the most famous, fat, and fabulous storyteller in the world. Yanish and his bear tales. Yanish. That's right, representing one of today's most respected children's authors, the big, sleepy, playful, yummy, honey-loving, musical, tail-spinning guy is back. More whimsical and lovable than ever. There is a river that flows through Paris, and on it there's a ship. It's called... Pajama Bottoms. Crazy name, you say. Not at all, as you'll see in a moment. With brand new stories full of the kind of wondrous things that grow on you with each and every viewing, he'll have you and everybody in your family up and dancing around, all full of love in no time at all. You won't believe the surprises he has for you this time. From the invention of hair mail to the creation of the hose phone. From talks with fishes to walks with wooden ducks. 
from taking a slow and easy ride on the super smooth snail train to catching a fast and friendly lift in Yonish's crowded skies. This is one experience that's guaranteed to make your spirit soar. So don't miss it. In the tradition of the Brothers Grimm and Hans Christian Andersen, it's Yonish and his award-winning, amazing, unforgettable fair tales. <laughs>